This is an integration test and the goal is to run and test the application without human interaction. You can see that the button is triggered every one second automatically. If everything works fine, you will receive a success message at the end. But how can you do this with Flutter? Well, let me show you. This is Flutter integration testing. The first thing to do is to go inside the popspec.yalm and under the dev dependency, you will add the integration test SDK Flutter. The next thing is to create another folder test, but this one will be called the integration test. Inside the integration test, I will create a new file called apptest.dart. Inside the app test, we will need to have four imports. First, the material.dart. We have also the flutter test.dart, the integration test that we recently added inside the popspec.yalm, and also the main.dart. This one is from the library. We will call it as app. For this, you will need to start with a main. Inside, you will have the integration test widget flutter binding that ensure initialize. This is to make sure that everything is set up inside your app to start the integration test. Next, we will use test widget. Inside, we have the name of the test and we have also the widget tester tester that returns something. The name will be tap the increment button 10 time with one second delay. Inside, we will have the setup, do, and test. First, we need to set up. So we will start the main. We use the app.main to trigger the main application. Then we use the tester that we receive from the test widget to pump and settle. This will wait to see if your application is ready. Then we need to find the button. So we use a finder class button equal to find.byIcon and we use the add icon. Like this, we have find the increment button. Now inside the do, we will do a for loop and the loop will be executed 10 times. Inside, we will use the tester. We will tap on the button and after we will wait once again. So I will use the future delay duration once again. And I do this because otherwise the code will go just way too fast. So like this, we will be able to see what happened in the test. After this, we need to recall the tester pump and settle. And finally, what we will expect is to see the application displaying 10 on the screen. So we should have a text 10 and we should have only one of them. So find one widget. Once the test is ready, you will need to open the terminal and write this command. Flutter test integration test. And this should trigger this file with the app test the dart inside. So I will press enter and this is what will happen. You can see the test starting and the application is currently tapping on the increment counter every once again until we have 10 and the test will be finished. You can see in the terminal that all tests passed. I want to mention that you can also go inside testing and you can just press the debug test and the test will run as the same. This was integration testing, but if you want to know about widget and unit testing, you can click the link in the description and watch the free video on fluttermap.com. Our goal is to have more subscribers than William the React Native channel. So if you want to help, check out if you're subscribed. And otherwise, I'm just happy to make video like this. See you in the next one, bye.